Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today I'm also joined by uh, my lovely daughter, Minna. Say hi, Minna. Hi. Uh, Minna says hi. Either way, I have another unboxing for you. Yay, unboxings. We love unboxings. All right, so this unboxing is not a diamond painting. This is for my new craft, coloring. As you guys know, I announced that I will start coloring on my channel. Thanks to JJ Space for helping me find some f fun coloring people to watch. And also all of you guys that have commented on my videos and on the introduction to coloring video, letting me know who I can go watch, who these cool people are. So thank you again for all your information. I have been making notes and watching all these channels. So yes, I am ready to start. So to get ready, I needed more than just my Prisma colors. Now I do intend on getting the 150 pack and the 72 pack and the Scholar packs and all the packs. We're just gonna have all the packs. But I also was told to try another brand, which is Arteza. And yeah, you see that? <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull that out of there, shall we? We're gonna get rid of that box. All right, so get out of here piece of paper so i also did buy some coloring books now uh we're gonna we're, we're still learning the camera angles here all right so these two books are from the new licensed artist that is coming to diamond art club so when i heard that she was coming to diamond art club i was like okay i got to go check her out because i hear she has coloring books so i ordered two of the coloring books i love steampunk items I love anything steampunk. So I have steampunk darlings. And then I have fairy tale princesses and story darlings. Now, I'm usually not a fairy tale person, but you know, this looked like the image that if you were in my live or watched the replay, Diamond Art Club came in and save, gave us a sneak peek of the new artist and one of her designs. And this was one of the designs I saw and I was like, oh! Hannah Lynn gave me asthma. I got the Hannah Lynn asthma now, apparently. So I bought two of her coloring books. I'm so excited. All right, so before we flip through those two coloring books, we're gonna get into the goods here. I wanna see these color pencils because apparently color pencils matter. Like there's like pigments and all this other fun stuff you gotta learn. I have a color wheel coming because you know, I need one of those to help me figure out what colors to use because my big thing right now is I, 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 I'm learning how to do color blending, but, and this is a 72 pack if you haven't guessed it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was an easier way to open that, but I'm extra. So we're gonna take that, holy crap. All right, so we're gonna take that off to the side. From what I hear, Arteza is kind of like a more money friendly version of Prisma Arts almost, but I know Prisma Arts is in a world, uh, they're in a class that they're all, all their own. They are like the Diamond Art Club of color pencils. So I wanted to check these out and it has 72 colors, which they list all of them on the back of the canister here. So if you want to take a minute and pause that. And I, I don't remember what I paid for this. Editing Alicia will put it up, you know, in that blank space up there by Arteza. All right, so it has 72 colors. It says expert. So, you know, again, I'm not an expert. I can't even figure out how to open the thing. I'm supposed to be an expert. Okay. All right, so, oh, that's nice. You just, you know, it doesn't, that back part doesn't come off. Whee! All right, so it looks like it's in layers. I hate these little trays. And I tried to mute my phone, but I got distracted by pretty colors. So, ooh, they smell like paint and pencils. <laughs> All right. So I can smell the freshness of the color pencils. Can you smell it? Come sniff this. I'm making my daughter sniff color pencils. Be careful. So yeah, so yeah, right? So it comes in three layers, looks like. Yep, there's three layers. Um, I kind of wish it would have came with a pencil sharpener though, because I'm finding that that's a thing. I need to buy a pencil sharpener or find the one I had around here. So it comes in three different containers and it has all different colors. We're not gonna go through all the colors cause that's not important, but yeah, I got the 72 pack and it wasn't that expensive. I wanna say it was maybe like 20 bucks, I think. Don't quote me. Again, I will have all the information for it, you know, in there somewhere. Like I'll have editing Leisha put right there for a second. All right, so that is my Arteza, Arteza, color pencils. I got the expert 72 pack. 
I like those. They, they look like they're going to be good. So we're going to put them off to the side here. We ain't going to be throwing them. We're going to put them off to the side. So let's look through these books, shall we? All right. So we're going to scoot that one off to the side because that one, I'm just going to, yeah. All right. So Hannah Lanham. Oh, well, it sucks because, you know, they kind of, Amazon, what did you do to my book? Were you hungry? Were you trying to make flip art or something? Like, geez, Amazon. Anyways, so let's look at these designs. <gasps> I wonder if that's that design that Stitcherista was talking about. She was talking about something about a mermaid. But there's there's a design. And I, I, I joined a couple of coloring groups on Facebook. And they wanted, like, the name of the painting or something. Hold up. Whoa. Is that the same image? Okay, we have the same image. Am I missing something? Okay, let's let's look at this. Oh, okay, she gives you tips and stuff. So it says, place a small stack of copy paper, four to five sheets behind the page you are coloring to eliminate bleed through and indentations. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry about that. Um, indentation marks on other pages in your book. So essentially you want to put something underneath uh, the pages as you work on them. Like, I wish they would give you something to do that. Um, you don't have to commit to using just one medium. Medium meaning pencils, markers, paint, solvents, stuff like that. Uh, markers or color pencils, you can use all kinds of materials on just one coloring page. Gel pens, glitter pens, markers, color pencils, and crayons can work all work great together. Really wet mediums like paint are not recommended for this type of paper, which it is. It feels like, you know, regular copy paper or printer paper. Um, but I do offer a PDF printable version for sale on Hanalyn.com for those that prefer to use their own paper. There you go. So if you super extra and want to use your own paper, go to her website, Hanalyn.com. If you prefer to work with markers, considering consider using color pencils for large backgrounds or flesh tone areas in a light. Circum circular motions for more coverage. Markers can sometimes leave unwanted streaks over large areas. You can always add more layers of color pencil to achieve your desired depth of color. I like the fact that she already has given me tips that are going to be extremely helpful. There are no rules with art. There is no crafting police, folks. Remember that. The grass doesn't have to be green. Trunks, tree trunks don't have to be brown and the sky doesn't have to be blue. Have fun with it. That's so true. And if you feel that you have made a mistake, don't fret. Every artist, including myself, experiences a period of uncertainty during each piece. Art is fluid. If you keep going, you will see that it works out in the end and gain more confidence from seeing it through. If you feel like you need a break, come back with a fresh uh, set of eyes later. Since there are two copies of each illustration in this book, you can experiment different ways. That explains the two pieces of paper. So you can say use glitter pens on, or gel pens on one page. Now I gotta buy gel pens. Gel pens on one page, color pencils on another page, just to see which one's gonna give you the best result. I love that. So essentially you're getting double the book here. For and I only paid half the price. I, like, I, I, I think I paid like $9 for this. All right, all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. The best way to improve your skills is through experience. Also true. So get your materials out, turn on some music that inspires you, and have fun. For more tips and tutorials, please visit my website at hannahlynn.com. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Art on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please visit my author page on Amazon.com, Hannah Lynn, to view all my available coloring books, journals, and more. Holy piss in a bucket. All right, so that. Oh, okay, this is where they, I was, that, that's what I was getting ready to say uh, before I read that. They ask you for the names of the images and the artist. And I was like, well, there's no names on those things. Um, but all the names and stuff are here. And it tells you each design that's in this book. I freaking love that. Do all coloring books come like this from her? We'll find out here in the next book because I will be ordering more. Definitely going to have a Hannah Lynn stash. Definitely. Um, oh, we have Off to See the Wizard. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because they're princesses, so let's see what we got. Off to the Ball. Okay, so maybe I should show you the bigger image. 
off to the ball, which again, I believe that is the image that Diamond Art Club showed us in my thing because I remember that layered dress. You ain't forgetting that layered dress. Um, and of course we have two copies of it. Then we have to grandmother's house. Oh my god! To be human. So it's a mermaid that I guess is wishing she was human. You can do anything you want to do, boo boo. Do you? Oh my gosh, I love that. What is that? Hans. Nope, nope, I, I lied. It's Princess and the P. Oh, that's right, because it's stacked mattresses. Alright, I got you, Hannah Lynn. I got you, I got you, girl. Do your thing, girl. So we got Princess in a pee, and she has like her little sleeping mask there, and her cat, and she looks tired. <laughs> and then this one is Hansel and Gretel. So that's Hansel and Gretel. That's really cool. I love the faces. I love how big and detailed, but they're, they're extra, but just the right amount of extra. Yeah, that's a thing. All right. So then we have, oh my gosh. All right, so I'm Little Miss Tuffet, Little Miss Muffet, I'm sorry, Little Miss Muffet, because there's the porridge and the spider. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Yo, I might have to skip diamond painting tonight in color. Oh geez. Magic carpet ride. That's also very pretty. I love the long hair, like, I think I picked the perfect artist to start my coloring adventure with because I love all the lines that I can color in. I love it. Um, Snow White and Friends. So, oh, she has a little fox. There's a little fox friend there. And then she has a deer and a, a trash panda, or you can call it a raccoon, I guess. And then she's holding a bunny with a bird on her shoulder. She has the apple up here. That's really cool. I'm going to guess that's Alice in Wonderland. Down the rabbit hole. Yes, it is. Uh, does it have the little vial that says drink me on it? I see eat me. There it is. Drink me. Uh, anything Alice in Wonderland, if it has eat me or drink me on it, I definitely usually get it. So that's cool. And I like how her hair isn't braided in this one. It's out so you can give it like that depth when you color it in, when you figure out how to give it depth from coloring it in. Um, so yeah. So this next one is, oh, hello. there we go, Fairly, Fairy Godmother. Well, hello, Fairy Godmother. That is a pretty dress you have on there. All right. So I like that one. Whoa. All right, mermaid ladies. Mermaid Lagoon. All right. So, sorry, I bumped you. This is Mermaid Lagoon. And there's three mermaids there, just chilling. Pinocchio's wish. I just want to be a real boy. Oh my gosh, she has wings. Oh, she has wings. I wonder if she has a fairy one. I think I saw a fairy one. I am going to have to go back on Amazon tonight and order some more. Don't judge. No judgment. And then we have Rapunzel's tower. Nice, long, flowy hair. Love that. Nice big tower. Love that. Love that. Love all of that. So what do we have next? Off to see the wizard. Oh, this is going to be fun. <gasps> oh my god, look how cute that is. Ah, it's a lion. And a uh, scarecrow and the tin man and Toto and Dorothy and the crown. And then I'm going to guess that's the wizard's house or something. And then the brick road. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love it. The next one is the Frog Prince. Oh, yep, Frog Prince, because there's a frog. She has an apple or an orange or something in her hand. The ball, it was a ball. It's a ball. And then they're sitting by the well. Afternoon Croquet. This is... Oh, this is the one that Stitcherista was talking about. If you guys watch her video today, she was talking about um, the Queen of Hearts. And she wanted Diamond Art Club to submit that. She wanted Hannah Lynn to submit that one as one of the works of arts. And I believe this is the one she's talking about. 
and it looks like you have a hedgehog and a flamingo and she's playing croquet with them uh she has the heart crown and then her dress is all hearts and then like the background here is hearts which i thought that whole bush was hearts but we're not gonna judge we're not gonna judge and then we have enchanted rose love that i love how detailed this is i don't I, i'm guessing this is a fence or a gate of some sort it has like a lion head on it love it i also love that she gives you two pages it's two books in one folks you can you can share with a friend and they won't take your stuff straw into gold oh that's so awesome five cool points if you can remember the bad guy's name in that This one is Waiting for Peter Pan. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. Ah, oh, I love it. And I'm going to guess that's Peter Pan taking his sweet time to get to her. You know, it's not like she's not waiting for him or anything. That's, that's fine, Peter Pan. Take your time. Take your time. All right. Morning Chores. I'm going to guess that's Cinderella. There's a chicken over here. Did anybody notice a chicken over here? There's a chicken in your kitchen and a mouse. You might want to do some more housework instead of taking selfies because um, there's woodland creatures in your home. All right, so, um, <gasps> oh my gosh, Tinkerbell, it's a fairy. Sorry, sorry, it's a fairy. She's on a thimble. Look at her little socks. She has a vial that says fairy dust. <laughs> she even has a pointed ear. I love it. I love it, you guys. Thank you, JJ Space, for uh, for those of you who don't know, JJ Space is Jennifer Jones, the one that can find anything and everything. So yeah, um, the next one is Goldilocks. Oh, that's one of Maggie's favorites. It's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Look at her little curly hair. I love it. Briar Rose. <gasps> oh my God, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. To you guys, it might be sideways, so I have to flip it this way so you guys can see it the correct way. So that's Briar Rose. Love it. Love it. Keep doing it. Then we have Thumbelina. So let's check out Thumbelina. Ah, ooh, ooh, I get to practice my leaves and butterflies sketching or edging or, you know what I mean, the blending. Um, so we have a little chubby bird and Thumbelina and a butterfly and she looks like she's in a rose or a leaf. They're flowers because there's a sunflower right here. That's really pretty. And then I think there's one more, the big day. Ooh, the big day. You got a big old dress on? Sure do. Big old nice white dress. All right, so the big day. I'm not sure what this is in front of her, but she has like floor back there. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a bush that she's looking outside or something. I don't know. We're not gonna judge her either. It's her big day. Leave her alone. Let her do her. Let her shine. All right. So each, 25 designs, two copies of each. Okay. I guess I could have just read the back as well. Celebrate your favorite fairy tales and timeless treasures from art. Artist Hannah Lynn. Feature adorable storybook characters from classic like Cinderella, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and more. 25 designs with two copies of each for a total of 50 pages to color. One with a bit of shading in the eyes for... One with a bit of shading in the eyes for a slightly variated color experience. <gasps> oh, okay. Kind of like what they did there, I guess. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the first Hannah Lynn book. We're gonna go for number two, but we're gonna start a new clip. So hold on one second. All right, so I started a new clip for book number two. They should each have their own clips, folks. All right, so let's see, the Steampunk Darling, it does the same thing. It has two images of each, which I'm gonna guess, and I'm not gonna read all that stuff back to you, but yes, in order of appearance. So I'm gonna read these out here, and then we'll go through. So we have Trixie, Sadie, Evelyn, Jacqueline, Railroad Re Rev Revenous, um, Ravenous, 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 y'all know what I'm talking about, Harriet, Sonia, Belle of the Ball, Nova, Cascade, Cordelia, Briella, Rabbit in a Hat, Vivian, Melody, Nora, Cat, 
Luna, Quinn, Stella, Everly, Curiosity, Bridget, Morgan, and Jessie. My reading has gotten significantly better through these videos. All right, so let's see. So the first one we have is Trixie. Trixie is gorgeous. She probably will be the first one I color, to be honest, because there's a lot of big spaces to color. And I like big spaces to color, so we're gonna go with that. Um, so that's Trixie. And then next we have Sadie. Sadie looks kind of badass with that owl on her shoulder, I'm just saying. All right then. And then we have Evelyn. She looks like she has jewels or something. She has like maps and planets and a telescope back here. Smarty pants. Then we have Jacqueline. Well, hello, Jacqueline. Do your thing, girl. Look at her. Oh my God, I love it. Yes. She even has the steam coming up behind her. Jeez, y'all. Mm. Hannah Lynn, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Railroad Revenous. Revenous. Revenous? Ravenous. Revenous. That says rendezvous. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. All right. Railroad Rendezvous. Because apparently my reading has not gotten better. So it's her with a gentleman caller in the railroad tracks. Watch out, because if you watch Red Dead Redemption or you play that game, they put you on the railroad tracks, I'm just saying. Then the next one we have is Harriet. Well, hello, Harriet. Look at her little steampunk cat back here. I think it's a robot cat, because I see like little bolts and stuff like he's been melt uh, melted together. Uh, he's been uh, soldered together. And then like she even has like gears up here in her curtain. So we got two of her. Then we got Sonya. Hey, Sonya. See, I like this book a lot better only because it has a lot of big spaces for me to color in and I need to practice so I need the bigger spaces. And because I'm new, I have two pages to color on. So I can take this page and practice my blending and then take the te techniques that I learn and use it on my second page. Love it. Thank you, Hannah Lynn. Oh my gosh, I love you already. I gotta, I gotta talk to you or something. We gotta have a conversation. We gotta have a conversation, girl. All right, so we have Bella the Ball. Look at her. I like steampunk because it just looks so badass. I'm sorry, I know I don't usually curse a whole lot, but it does. It just has that little bit of something that is just, yes. Oh my gosh. So next we have uh, Nova. Nova deals with air, air balloons and blimps apparently. She's pretty cool looking. I love corsets as well. I ain't wearing one, but I like them. The next one is Cascade. Is that a robot mermaid? Because that'd be kind of funny and awesome. Then we have Cordelia. Hello, Cordelia dog. Cordelia has a fish in her hat. Do you see it? It's a fish in her hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to love this. Going to love it. Love it already. Uh, then we have Briella. Briella has wings. Ah, ah, I like her wings. She has like little curly puffs like that. And she has like mechanical bugs. I don't know why you would want to make mechanical bugs, but you know, do your thing, boo-boo. I ain't judging you. And then we have Rabbit in a Hat, which there is a rabbit in her hat. She took her hat off. And if you look that perfect while you took your hat off and you don't get hat hair, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, and she has cards behind her and the watch. So yeah, I love that. She also has a clock on her hat. Um, Vivian. Hello, Vivian. She's writing letters or something. She's writing or typing. Either way. Jeez, um. All right, and then we have Melody. Hello, Melody. This kind of looks like wallpaper you'd see in a hotel room behind her, but her dress is like on fleek right now, like. I love the short front, but then like the extra back, but they gotta have that train on the back. Oh, we got one in a wheelchair. All right, who's this? This is Nora. What's up, Nora? She's like, I don't let life hold me back. Pour me, this, pour me some of that tea. Yes, get it, girl. She even has like a little monocle up here, up in her hair. The next one is Cat. Meow. All right, so she has a little cat on her lap. She has drapes behind her. She's sitting on a 
Hopefully that's a, those are designs on her bed sheets and she's not sleeping on gears because I hear that's horrible for your back. Um, the next one is Luna. Luna has a fox friend with her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And her fox, I believe, is either wearing a gear or has a gear for his chest. It looks like a real fox, but I don't know. It can be anything you want it to be. And then we have Quinn, the deep sea diver. I love that. And look at the bubbles coming out of the top of the submarine she's in there. Her submarine has a fin on it. Oh, who is you, girl? Can't be just Stella. What's up, Stella? Girl, look at the layers of her skirt from behind and then you have the stuff coming up the back. Steam coming out of her gun, the big gear behind her. Oh yeah, I'm gonna learn my gray shadings real well with this book. Everly, Everly is riding her unicorn. I thought it was gonna be a Pegasus unicorn, but it's just a unicorn. And she's got some mountains and her Pegasus has a very intricate detailed uh, mask for its face. So I love that. Uh, who do we got next? Curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. And of course, she's a scientist. So she got all kinds of science-y things. She had the periodic table of elements back here. She has this. I don't remember what it's called. She has some bugs back here. She has her steampunk mask. So yeah, like, I just love steampunk. Bridget is next. Hey, Bridget. So Bridget looks like she has on a bigger dress, which flows down to the end of the page. Um, she also has, she's looking at this blimp, which has sails on it. Not sure what that's about, but I'm pretty sure somebody knows. And then we have something back here. That there's somebody like skydiving back there. So that's pretty cool. And that's Bridget. Next is Morgan. Ooh, hi Morgan. She has like a watch or a clock here. Uh, her hair is down. That looks really pretty. She has the roses around her. That is so cool. And then last but not least, we have Jessie. Jessie has all kinds of stuff going on. She looks like she's in the clouds or something. She has like the steam coming out of this here, which is powering her wings. And she has like rope on her wings, I guess, to flap with or something. She has a little parachute up here, light bulb. There's a fork in her hair. I don't know if she notices, but there's a fork in her hair. I'm not sure what this looks like, a corn cob or something. I don't know, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And I love the fact that she's not wearing a dress, she's wearing shorts. Do it, girl. Show them a little leg. All right, and that is the end of that book. So that is my Amazon haul. I have two Hannah Lynn books, and from the looks of it, I will be making quite a few more purchases from Hannah Lynn. And I have my Arteza color pencils. Well, I will try these out as soon as I get a chance because, oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. Again, they come in three layers, all that fun jazz. Both these books were like $8.95, I believe. Again, at the end of the, uh, yeah, at the end of the video, I will have, uh, editing Leisha add in how much the books and the color pencils were because I don't remember off the top of my head so I do apologize about that but that is it for me folks thank you so much for watching if you like this unboxing and you like the random videos please give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point I don't give a crap either way if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe for more random videos like this please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video and believe me folks it's random. With that said, I'm gonna bid you adieu and do like I always do and remind you to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.